Hey everyone, it's Alex here with another free device from Isotonic Studios. Today I'm looking at LFO Lava by Avil, which is lava in reverse, I believe. This is a free device for everyone subscribed to the Isotonic mailing list for their 12 weeks of Christmas giveaway campaign. Everything is in the description as usual. So LFO Lava is a double oscillating LFO device. It's a mappable LFO with two oscillators where you can set their speed using ratios, get intuitive graphic response and map them any enable parameter inside Ableton. What does it actually sound like in the real audio world of our digital audio workstations? So I have got LFO Lava here. It's an audio device that goes after um, any kind of MIDI device. I've got it in front of operator here. And when I was looking through the kind of the product literature, I immediately thought I, it, it would be good for kind of cross modulating things, particularly like FM bass lines, where, where you might want to get some kind of wobs and interesting rhythmic patterns. And so when I was rehearsing, that was exactly what I did. And it's very good for stuff like that because Operator only has the one filter section. So you can do a certain, certain amount of modulation with its own inbuilt LFO, but if you want to do kind of cross-modulated filter stuff or, or filters in sequence, you can do that with analog where it's got the kind of dual oscillator filter section but not in operator. So I, I, um, I'm going to do that because operator gives us like FM sections and it's very good for kind of FM bass, growly, modern bass sounds. LFO Lava is here and it's a, it's a bit almost like a, the, the LFO device that we all know and love, but uh, they, the, the speeds of, of the LFOs are, are uh, set by these ratios here. And as you change them, you get kind of a different graphical response here. Yeah, so let's let's uh, let's get a kind of FM sound. I'm just going to draw in a a note first. I think I'm going to go for um, let's go here C2, but I'm going to go work there. Drop this. So we just got a sub now. Hey. And I'm going to bring in the second oscillator and we'll start to get a kind of, uh, or the second operator as it's called rather, and we'll start to get a kind of a growly FM sound. Nice. Let me have it somewhere like here. Uh, of course you can use the, the filter to, to shape stuff like this. So I'm going to actually map LFO Lava to that. And let's uh, change the range a bit. So Oh, nice. And this, this the speed of the, the first uh, mappable parameter, first, uh, first LFO, I think is determined by this uh, if you have this on zero, it's just kind of going up and down. Faster. Nice. Particularly when you bring in some, some kind of uh, rhythmic elements. Now I've got the instant house device in front of the Ableton drum synth. Nice, nice bit of kind of uh, like garage-esque house kind of vibe here. If I turn up the LFO, uh, sorry, the operator volume. Alright, I'm going to uh, map the second LFO to, to this filter on this auto filter and now we'll be able to get some kind of cross modulating auto filter um, or filter stuff to give us some kind of different rhythmic feel. I'm going to bring up the and 
the second elephone, you'll start to see this filter moves up and down. Nice. <laughs> That's like quite, quite a cool, interesting pattern already, you know. Very good. Okay, that's kind of like if we introduce a bit of reverb, perhaps, kind of plate sound on this. Low, dry, wet. Right, that'll get a dance for us moving. Uh, perhaps we could do some kind of puffy pads using using the device as well. Again, let's let's go with operator and we'll pull in the uh, auto filter again. Really, um, and we'll also pull our LFO lava, and I am going to map to the frequency here. And perhaps I'll map the second one. Maybe just try something with the level here. And I'm going to have a saw wave. Nice. Yeah, when I get to know any kind of device like this, I just use tons of it <laughs> all over the place. Uh, let's kind of drop. Nice bit of delay. up this one. and we uh, perhaps a LFO lover to generate some percussion. Uh, so I think I'm going to just have this on fixed. Let's pull this right down and let's draw in some 16th notes. We'll just... okay, perhaps let's randomize the velocity here. So, randomize the chance. Change this to a triangle, and I'm going to map this first LFO to the, the frequency, and then map this to the decay, uh, the second LFO. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so it's not just 
and also bring up this bottom bit. So we've got a bit of kind of thing going on. Uh, let's also let's pull in a second LFO lava. Map this to the time velocity. Uh, so that's going to be because we've we've randomised the velocity in here. We're going to be getting kind of further modulation happening or ch or changing pattern. And we're going to get less repetition. <laughs> So map it to uh, the waves as well. I think that'll work. Probably get some absolute uh, carnage here. It'd be nice for sound design stuff though. So I think at this point, if I was actually going to make this into a track, I would resample the bass um, while I was kind of messing around with the uh, LFO lava ratios on the on the bass itself. But I might also just record in a slightly different uh, part here. <laughs> Just to record like a tape with it and uh, back down to as, as you move kind of through the level, you'll get different timbres that the uh, frequency modulation is producing. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can just further chop these about and that's probably what I'd do here is I, I might take these over to the timeline and start messing around with different patterns that I could get out of the bits I've recorded. <laughs> Or she can just, you know, loop different sections to get different ideas. Further sculpt the sound as well. And it's the kind of thing where I might even be tempted to start drawing in some kind of ducking here. Oh. Yeah, very nice. So download LFO Lava and have some fun. All links are in the description as to where you can get it. It's free if you're signed up to the Isotonic mailing list. I've been Alex, thanks for watching and I will see you around. Cheers. Thank you.